America is the first to discover the power of black gold. In the field, machines replace men. A liter of oil generates as much as energy as 100 pair of hands in 24 hours. In US, only 3 million farmers left. They produce enough grain to feed 2 billion of people. Most of the grains are not used to feed people. Here in all the industrialized nation, grains are transformed into biofuel and stock feed. Agriculture consumes 80% of all the human water consumption. In nature, everything is linked. The more a country develops, the more meat is consumed. How can worldwide growing demand be satisfied without camp-style cattle farms? Manufacturing of meat has become a daily routine. In this cattle farm with millions of cows, not even a single grass can be found. Trucks from different corners of the country brings in tons of grains, soy meal and protein-rich granules that will become tons of meat. The result is to take 100 liter of water to produce 1 kilograms of potato, 4,000 liters of water to produce 1 kilogram of rice, and 13,000 liter of water to produce 1 kilogram of beef. Not to mention the oil used in transportations. Since 1950, fishing catches have increased five times, from 18 to 100 million metric tons per year. Thousands of factory ships are emptying the oceans. Three quarter of fishing ground are exhausted, depleted or in danger of being so. Most large fishes have been fishing out of existence. Because they have no time to reproduce. We are destroying the cycle of life. At the current rate all the fishing stock are threatened with exhaustion. The wetland represents 6% of the Earth's surface. Under the calm water is a factory where plants and microorganisms patiently filter the water and digest all the pollution. These marshes are indispensable environment for the regeneration and purification of water. They are sponges that regulate the flow of water. They absorb the water in the wet season, and releases water during the dry season. In our race to conquer more land, we have reclaimed the pasture for our livestock or as land for agriculture or building. In the last century, half of the world marshes were drained. We know neither their richness nor their role. All living matters are linked. Air water soil and tree. The world magic is right in front of our eyes. Tree breathes ground water into the atmosphere as light mist. They form a canopy that alleviates the impact of heavy rain. The forest provides the humidity that is necessary for life. They store carbon containing more than all the Earth atmosphere. They are the cornerstone of the climatic balance at which we all depend. The trees are the primary forest providing habitat for three quarter of the planet biodiversity. That is to say, almost all life on Earth. These forests provide the remedy to cure us. The substances created by these plants can be recognized in human body. Our cells talk the same language. We are of the same family. But in barely 40 years, the world large forest, the Amazon has been reduced by 20%. The forest gives away for cattle ranges and soybean farms. 95% of the soybeans are used to feed livestock and poultry in Europe and Asia. So forest is turned into meat. The clock of climate change is ticking in this magnificent landscape. Here is Siberia and elsewhere across the globe. It is so cold that the ground is constantly frozen. It is known as permafrost. Under its surface is a climatic time bomb. Methane, a greenhouse gas 20 times more powerful than carbon dioxide. If the permafrost melts, the methane gas is released to cause a greenhouse effect that rays out of control with consequences no one can predict. We will literally be in an unknown territory. Humanity has no more than 10 years to reverse the trend and avoid crossing into this territory where life on Earth as if it is never known. We have created phenomena that we cannot control. Since our origins, water, air and forms of life are intimately linked. But recently we have broken those links. Let's face the facts. We must believe what we know. All we have just seen are reflections of human behavior. We have shaped our earth in our image. We have very little time to change.
How can this century carry the burden of 9 billion human beings if we refuse to be called to account for everything we along have done? 20% of the world's population consumes 80% of its resources. Nearly 1 billion people are going hungry. Over 50% of grain traded around the world is used for animal feed or biofuels. 40% of arable land has suffered long-term damage. Every year, 13 million hectares of forest disappear. One mammal in four, one bird in eight, one amphibian in three is threatened with extinction. Species are dying out at a rhythm 1,000 times faster than the natural rate. Three quarters of fishing grounds are exhausted, depleted or in dangerous decline. The average temperature of the last 15 years have been the highest ever recorded. The ice cap is 40% thinner than 40 years ago. There may be at least 200 million climate refugees by 2050. The cost of our action is high. Other species paid the price without having been actively involved. Let's be responsible consumers, think about what we buy, it is too late to be pessimists. It is time to come together. What's important is not what's gone but what remains. We still have half of world's forest, 1000 of rivers lakes and glaciers and thousands of species, we know the solutions are there today, we all have the power to change. So what are we waiting for?